What's up folks, welcome back to another street photography, photo vlog, POV video thing. Starting off down by the river here. We went down to see if anything was happening. It was pretty quiet though. Did snap this one picture of a lady dressed all in pink with her pink water bottle on the floor as well. Heading back up into the center of the city and this dog was super cute. Quite like the hand of Jack that just like creeped into the photo there and the girl with the tattoos and I don't know there's something kind of nice about this photo. I think I've got the dog mid trot so he's kind of in mid air as well. This year I was trying to make some sort of frame of this skateboarder leaning on his board and this other guy walks through the frame and just fills it up nicely. It's fine. <laughs> A little further on, I see this picture that reminds me of a Matt Stewart photo with a guy with a balloon sort of floating over his head. I framed it wrong, I just I kind of panicked and tried to just quickly shoot it in the moment instead of thinking for a bit longer and framing it better, but I don't know if I could have framed it better to be honest. Here I'm continuing my new thing of just trying to shoot through bus windows to see if I get any decent photos when people are passing. This one didn't turn out well though, but this was only the first one of the day. This is a very obvious, easy shot, I would say. Find a patch of light, wait for someone to walk through it. They're really far away, they're small in the frame. It's not, it's not great, it's not, it's not, yeah, it's, I don't like it. <laughs> Slightly further up I see this bouquet sign in this window and think oh maybe if someone's passing through the other side it could make for kind of an interesting complex frame. One thing I didn't notice was this little dog inside that runs in and starts barking. I don't know I didn't not didn't even hear it, didn't notice it was there the whole time. Didn't really get anybody walking through the frame either but now I'll have that spot and have a little visual note to, to go back there. I was thinking this woman with her hand on her hip could have been sort of an interesting close-up detail shot, but then this guy was walking through, I didn't see him coming, I got in his way. Probably could have made a better shot if I was further back. I saw this woman with the blue hair a couple times before and this time I managed to get this shot with all this green in the background as well and it, it came out okay but she's not she's in the shade and it's light behind her so it wasn't it wasn't good not good enough anyways here I saw this DHL guy I think Jack and I both saw him at the same time Got them in the light there, it came out nicely, there's just a little bit of flare. This one didn't come out good at all, I was hoping to find some sort of complex scene as people were sort of passing by as we wait in this intersection. Still sort of hanging around in this intersection because the light was good, there just wasn't a lot of, there wasn't enough crowds passing through and all we needed was like one pocket of people to come through and maybe maybe something interesting to happen. This one's not, I don't like this one either. <laughs> Cyclist coming down here just like on his back wheel and had I exposed properly for the background this might have been a little bit better, it's a little bit too contrasty. I always see this bull here and unfortunately it was out of the sunlight at this point but I tried to sort of make a frame of it to like include it in the frame and there was a person coming up the street uh, on a skateboard but I never really got them in the frame how I wanted however there was someone behind that that was smoking so I'm trying to line them up underneath the neck or chin of this bull thing and I did manage to get it sort of so she was in mid stride middle of a draw of her cigarette as well and it looked okay I think the background's too blown out the foreground's too dark there's things I would want to change, but um, it's, a, it's a good start and I like that spot to try and do stuff like that again. 
We were actually looking at this window because there was the odd street photo cropping up in this slideshow in there and while we were there I just shot this kind of reflection-y photo. Further down the street crossing the road here, I was going for a picture of the bus driver but they were in the shade and then this dude like like messing around, he's like a street canvasser guy that talks to everybody anyways. Um, but very nice, didn't try and sell me anything or make me sign up for anything, just chatted to me. <laughs> uh, but wearing interesting pants, so I got this photo and I quite like that one actually. I kind of noticed this person walking across the street and then I heard the canvasser person talking to her and she just ignored him. And I got this photo and I just thought that was kind of a funny moment and plus there's the complimentary colours there as well. These buffalo that are like this art setup thing here, I've always thought there's a picture here and I haven't figured it out just yet and I think maybe just including them as an abstract element in the frame will help. This isn't the winner yet, I'm still working on this and figuring it out, I'm going to have to come and go at different times, maybe when there's more happening. Here's another one, I'm waiting on a bus passing by into this spot of light in this intersection. And this one came out well, like I got a few photos from that, I just did a burst. And they're kind of passable, I like the collageness of that. that this one also is like a self-portrait. But this one is the one that I really like. I like that guy's gesture, with his hand holding onto the, the pole thing. And the people are like super backlit and it's just got a very complex sort of... Uh, look about it and that the red highlight in there looks cool i really like that one and this one isn't good but i just like that the gesture of that person's hand on their head is kind of nice but the, the the sticker completely ruins it otherwise there's a guy coming down here with a massive mohawk like the guy from cobra kai but i tried to do like a shoot from the hip upwards sort of thing to make that umbrella part of the scene but it just blacked out his hair essentially so it ruined the entire thing. This was everybody stopping to get a drink and I was taking photos of the interesting side light in this place at the same time. Back at this mammoth that I loved in the last video. The light has gone off it though, unfortunately it went a little bit too low so it's ducked behind the building. I thought maybe it would become like a dark abstract element but it, it's worse. I don't like these photos as much as the last time I shot here. Probably still going to keep coming back to this thing though because I think there's a great shot to be had somewhere. I just haven't figured it out and it's winding me up. Sometimes I just like to shoot any windows because there's reflections and maybe it makes an interesting abstract shot at some point. This intersection, the light's getting really good now. Skateboarder comes through, I've got him mid push there. I would like to see maybe more happening, but I, I really love the way the light is here. It's very angular and graphic. Yeah, there's definitely so much potential here. There's another one, I'm trying to include this truck in the frame and wait for someone to pass through. I really wish I'd been further forward because that person is doing an awesome gesture, shielding their eyes from the sun. I would have loved to have been right in front of their face for that photo. And last photo of the day, this is me shooting through another window for the light and reflections and shapes and stuff. Just looks kind of cool. So it was a pretty good day walking around F Philly. Philadelphia, why did I think I was still in Philadelphia? It's been months. Streets were a little bit quiet, but I would expect that on a Tuesday in 2020 in Denver anyways. Before I started filming, I did get two photos that I actually really like and I didn't expect it at the time. I didn't even realize that I took them at the time, to be honest, because I was just shooting through the moments. But I got one bus window photo with a guy wearing a hood and he's framed perfectly in the window and it just looks kind of like spooky. 
and I like that picture and the other one I'm not gonna show and I do really like it and I would like to put it on Instagram but I'm doing my best to hold a few photos back so that when I publish a, a zine of my 2020 photos or a book of street photography or whatever, I have something new that's not been seen in vlogs or on Instagram. And I didn't get it on the vlog footage anyways, it was before I was shooting, so this is an easy one for me to keep back. And the same happened last time I was shooting, I got a photo that I quite liked and I didn't have vlog footage of it, so. I don't have a photo set or anything like that from today's photos, I don't think I got any that I don't think I got enough that I liked to make into a set, but still, it was fun to go out shooting with some people. Um, we'd like to go out soon and shoot at night, uh, maybe on like a Friday or Saturday when there might be actually people in the street. But yeah, other than that, I'm gonna stop blabbing. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.